Movement-based actions, we do that all the time, so you can visualize it. But with disappear, there's really no analogies. So, Evan, what you want to do here is to imagine the cube slowly fading out, okay? Same sort of drill. So, one, two, three. Okay, let's try that. Oh my goodness, this is too good. <laughs> try that again. Losing concentration. <laughs> <laughs> but we can see that it actually works, even though you can only hold it for a little bit of time. As I said, it's a very difficult um, process to imagine this. And the great thing about it is that the, we've only given the software one instance of how he thinks about disappear. Um, as, as there is a machine learning algorithm in this. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's all. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you, Evan. You are a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> example of the technology. So, as you can see uh, before, there is a leveling system built into this software so that as Evan or any user becomes more familiar with the system, they can continue to add more and more detections so that the system begins to differentiate between different distinct thoughts. Um, and once you've trained up the detections, these thoughts can be assigned or mapped to any computing platform, application or device. So I'd like to show you a few examples, because there are many possible applications for this new interface. In games and virtual worlds, for example, your facial expressions can naturally and intuitively be used to control an avatar or <coughs> virtual character. Obviously, you can experience the fantasy of magic and control the world with your mind. And also, colors, lighting, sound and effects can dynamically respond to your emotional state to heighten the experience that you're having in real time. And moving on to some applications developed by developers and researchers around the world. Uh, with robots and simple machines, for example, uh, in this case, flying a toy helicopter simply by thinking lift with your mind. The technology can also be applied to real-world applications. In this example, a smart home. You know, from the user interface of the control system to uh, opening curtains or closing curtains. And of course, also to the lighting, turning them on or off. And finally, to real life changing applications, such as being able to control an electric wheelchair. Uh, in this example, uh, facial expressions are mapped to the movement command. Now blink right to go right. Now blink left, turn back left. Now smile to go straight. We are really... O <laughs> Thank you. We are really only scratching the surface of what is possible today. And with the community's input and also with the involvement of developers and researchers,